submit a must record in the procurement cycle is the purchase info record. To view a purchase info record, I am going to go ahead and type the transaction code ME13. A purchase info record is a relationship between a material and a vendor for a combination of a purchase organization and a plant. So for a combination of a material and vendor, all the terms and conditions and all the details are maintained in a purchase info record. So if one material is supplied by multiple vendors, there are going to be multiple purchase info records. If you remember, we had discussed about these procurement scenarios in the beginning, the standard, the subcontracting and the consignment. Pipeline is are the materials which are always available in the pipe and supplied by a pipe like a oil or gas and those kind of things used in oil and gas industries. I am going to go ahead with the standard purchase info record for this material for the vendor 1222 and material 1001 and, going and go to the next screen. So the initial screen has the basic details whatever unit of measure we had entered in the material master all those details get copied here and then I go to the purchase organization data. Here there are a lot more details. Say the key fields are we enter a planned delivery time, which is the expected time the vendor takes for the delivery once the purchase order is placed. The, remember the under delivery tolerance and the old delivery tolerance. If it is entered in the material master, it gets copied over here. And then if there is a standard quantity which you have to always order on the vendor, you could put it. Say for example, a vendor has a requirement that a standard order quantity should be 10. If you have that kind of a rule, you could do that. Then you have a minimum order quantity. The vendor expects a minimum order quantity to be ordered. Then you enter it here. All this gets validated when the purchase order gets created. And here you are saying that for this material and this vendor, GR based invoice verification is done, which means that invoice can be posted only if the GR has been posted. And if you have a limit of the maximum quantity the vendor can take in the order, you can put it here. And then you have the net price. Net price, if you see, we had entered, even though the basic unit of measure was each, we had entered the order unit of box. So order unit is the procurement unit. So what you are saying is $10 per one box, and one box contains 10 items, which you had given the material master. Now, we have lot lot more details in the pricing. In SAP, we call the pricing as pricing are embedded into a pricing procedure, which in turn has condition types. These are called the condition types. The condition types are nothing but the pricing elements which we use in general business, like base price, gross price, discount, freight, and all those parameters. So all these pricing elements are embedded in the pricing procedure in the configuration which gets defaulted into the purchase info record and you can also give a calculation there in the configuration where you can say the freight is calculated on the base price and discount is on the base price plus freight or just the base price and all those business rules are given in the pricing procedure which gets defaulted into the purchase info record. Now this covers the four important master records in the procurement document. To summarize, we covered material master, we covered, next we covered the vendor master, then we covered the source list and the last one being the info record. So with these four info records, we are now set to do the transactions. <laughs>